My name is Samantha. Thank you for speaking with me today. Well, thank you for coming by and uh, talking to me. Uh, it's kind of a surprise, but I appreciate uh, the attention. How long have you lived in Palm Desert? Well, I've lived here full time since about 2014, 2015, I think. Where are you from? Well, we moved here to the desert from Portland, Oregon. Now we just got a little tired of the rain and cold, like a lot of people do, and um, tired of being snowbird kind of people, so we moved here full, full time. How did you happen to save one of God's creatures? <laughs> well, I, I was doing some things in the front, and uh, I had to notice him lying on the, on the sidewalk near the street. I didn't um, think much about it at first. Where and when did you first see him? Well, like I said, I saw him on the sidewalk as he was lying, um, lying there by the street. Maybe the afternoon, it was a little bit hot. I wasn't sure exactly what it was at first. Tell me how the whole event happened. I went out to the street and um, saw him lying there and I, I didn't know if he was alive or dead. I couldn't tell. I don't have a lot of experience with these things. So I didn't know for sure if um, you know I, there was anything I could do for him. So I, I guess I did what anyone would do. I kind of just looked at him and, and uh, thought, what the heck's going on? How did you determine that he was still alive? Well, I got down real close to him and I looked and I could see that there was movement on one of his front legs. You know, he was, um, he was just barely moving. I, it looked like he had hurt from the back legs, I'm not sure. I, I guess just the movement is what, what caused What me. happened when he started moving around? Well, at first I kind of jumped back. I, I didn't know what he was going to do. You know, those things can jump great distances, but here again, he was lying there, though he was injured, and obviously, as it turned out, he was. So I just took a few minutes, gathered my composure, and uh, went in the house. I got a piece of paper, and I kind of slid it underneath him. He was lying there on his little side with that one kind of bad leg, and um, I, I brought him in the house. What is your next plan for the little guy? Well, I plan on um, feeding him and um, caring for him until he either gets, makes it back or, or he doesn't. Hopefully he will. And then um, you will see where it goes from there. I know you said you're gonna come back in, a, in about a week. And at that time, I can kind of go through everything that transpires. In the meantime, if something does happen, I'll call you and tell you. And, you, want, you can save yourself the trip out here.